In 2011, I quit my job and moved into a van named Gertie. I wanted to eat at every single vegan restaurant in the country. By the summer of 2013, I completed my mission, having visited 48 states and dined at more than 500 restaurants. After the trip ended, I wrote a book about it, became self-employed, and have since remained largely nomadic with a focus on living a life of intention around my greatest passions. This is my daily vlog documenting my travel and vegan foodie excursions. Welcome to We'll Travel for Vegan Food. We'll travel for, we'll travel for vegan food. Somehow I ended up with an extra bag. Well, I have books. And Dustin from The Vegan Road, he gave me this bag. But thank goodness he did because I didn't, I, I collected things or just didn't pack very well this time, but I have this bag, this bag, this one. And now I'm gonna take two trains to get to Brooklyn for the Pine Box Rock Shop, vegan shop up. It should be a good time. So I just dropped my stuff off at Danielle's uh, in Brooklyn. Now we're headed to Denwell because why wouldn't we go there? And we're like so close, it's ridiculous. And then heading over to Pine Box Rock Shop for the pop-up. Yay! up and ready to go at Pine Box Rock Shop. Yeah! So I'm just outside of the Pine Box Rock Shop Vegan Shop Up. It went really well. I didn't bring a ton of books with me. You just interrupted. I'm doing I'm doing my vlog and you just interrupted. I know, I was gonna tell her she's she's turning into a headquarter. <laughs> these two. You guys I'm, need me. These I'm two. I'm a paying customer. I would never do that to you. I'm supporting your quality. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I'm enjoying this burger, gaucho burger from the Cinnamon Snail. Sold out of my books, which is fantastic. And now I'm going to enjoy this late lunch, early dinner, before having another dinner at Champs with a few friends before heading to Long Island tonight. Because tomorrow I have the book signing at Three Brothers Vegan Cafe, run by Chef Jay Astafa.
sweating bullets. So I just arrived at the Penn Station stop. Uh, now I gotta go into Penn Station and figure out how to take the Long Island Railway thingy to get out to Long Island, the Ronkonkoma stop, I think. Can you see the sheen of like sweat? I mean, that's how everyone looks in the subway here. It's so hot in the subway down there. Everyone just has like this mild like glow from their sweat. On the train, headed to Ronkonkoma, should be about an hour and 10 minutes, and then my parents are actually going to pick me up. They drove down from upstate New York for the event, the book signing tomorrow, so that'll be cool. Okay, I'm in Ronkonkoma, time to find my mom and aunt. I'm going to call it a night, you guys. See you tomorrow. Remember to eat well and travel often.